Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. I would like to share with you today uh, something that can be used for amygdala hijacking, which is a term I honestly wasn't even familiar with. I call my version of taking care of this problem the vagal break, and you'll see why in a couple minutes. Uh, this is great for all the stress, anxiety, fear, panic attacks, and all those other things that go bump in the darkness of our minds. Whether you do this for yourself, or if you're a change worker or a medical professional, this technique is for you. And if you can teach this to people under your care, you're going to get a lot of thank yous. I've had great results using this technique, and it combines multiple elements from various resources. The underlying theory comes from Dr. Stephen Porges and his polyvagal theory. If you're a change worker or a medical professional and you've not checked out the polyvagal theory, look into it. It's really cool stuff. My technique combines small bits of lots of different resource things, things like heart math, jinshin jitsu, and elements from multiple other resources. Look guys, I read a ton of books. I do a lot of online videos and training and research. I can't honestly remember where some of this stuff comes from. I've read that the peripheral vision part that you're about to see does come from the Army Sniper School, and they use that to help their snipers uh, settle into a shot to uh, get the, uh, the adrenaline to settle down so they can make a nice calm uh, shot. I know that I got some of this from Melissa Tears, and also some of this from a book by Stanley Rosenberg. Very good stuff. Check into it. Now, side note, always check with your medical professional before you do anything like this, if you have a medical diagnosis, don't change your medicines without talking to a medical professional, etc. Take care of yourself medically, okay? I would estimate that over the last two years, I've had about an 85% success rate using this technique. Now, what I mean by that is about 85, heck, maybe 90% of the people I've done this with have a really positive result. They appreciate it. Instead of slinging pills at people as healthcare workers, as uh, change workers, we can help people have tools in their toolbox to help themselves. And what better gift is that than to give somebody? Okay? So, you know, uh, it's resonating when you do this, when somebody starts having spontaneous breaths, deep breaths, or when they start to have tears. And these aren't tears of sadness. They're tears of relief, of finally getting to come down off of that adrenaline surge. I've had big, strong, burly truck drivers, men's men, go into tears and just thank me profusely after teaching them how to do this. This is a great self-help tool, and if you're a change worker or a medical professional, I encourage you to give this a try a couple times and see what it can do for your, uh, the people under your care. Now, there's really two versions of this. Um, there's a long version that I'll show you here, and then I'll run real quick through the end at kind of a shorter version. That can almost be done anywhere under any circumstances. Okay? So, we're, I'm just going to pretend that I'm doing with you, this with you, and uh, I think it'll make pretty good sense. It's pretty easy to remember. So, ideally, you want to be sitting somewhere with some space around you, uh, when I'm doing this one-on-one -on -one with somebody, I ask them to give me a nod or a grunt or something when they've accomplished one of these steps that I'm about to ask them to do. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is take your right hand like you're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance, but slide it a little bit into your left armpit. And then take your left hand and put it on your left shoulder, kind of, kind of like a self-hug. And we're going to take about three breaths, five seconds in, five seconds out. But we're going to imagine that we're breathing in and out through the heart. Okay? So we'll do those. One more. Good. Now you don't have to pay any further attention to your breathing for now, but I would like you to look over your right shoulder at what's behind you. Look over your left shoulder at what's behind you. Now find something straight ahead, a spot on the wall, etc., and just stare at it. And throughout this, keep your eyes on that spot. 
Now, allow that stare to go into that weird unfocused stare, like you're staring beyond or through that spot. Good. Now, keep staring at that spot, but I would like you to become more aware of the vision out to your side, your peripheral vision. Now, a lot of people don't realize it, but our peripheral vision has no endpoint. So expand your awareness of your peripheral vision out even further, maybe even so far that you can see the walls or the windows all the way out to the sides of you. Good. Now, imagine or pretend that you can expand that peripheral vision out so far that it's almost like you can see behind you. Good. Now, close your eyes. Imagine the face of someone that makes you feel safe and secure. It can be a, a person that's living, a person that's passed on, a religious figure, sports figure, movie actor, I don't care. Somebody that makes you feel safe and secure. Good. Now, have that person's face out there right in front of you and have them tilt their head to the side like a curious puppy. Raise their eyebrows up and give you a gentle smile. Now, you do the same thing back to them. Cock your head to the side like a gentle puppy. Raise your eyebrows up and give them a gentle smile as well. Good. Now take another deep breath in through your heart. Hold it. Hold it. And through your mouth out twice as slow. Open your eyes. There you go. That's what I call the vagal break. Okay? Now, ideally, you could have someone that you're doing this with to measure their anxiety, their stress level, uh, subjective units of distress, it's called, on a scale, scale of 0 to 10. And then afterwards, have them measure it again. And this is a good convincer that it did come down, it did change, that something changed just by this simple technique. Now, the short version is basically the staring part without the breasts and, and the arm hug, okay? So in a nutshell, you stare at something, you do the unfocused stare, you become aware of your peripheral vision, bigger peripheral vision, behind you peripheral vision freaks me out every time and that's also the reason I have one of the reasons I have people look over their shoulders beforehand I think it helps the brain visualize that and then after the the behind you peripheral vision eyes closed a safe secure face someone you trust right they tilt their head to the side like a puppy they raise their eyebrows up and they give a gentle smile in the imagination and then you have the person do the same thing back, take one last deep breath, and that's it. So there it is, my version of the vagal break. Uh, hope this uh, helps you feel better um, in these uh, hard times that we're experiencing right now. And like I said, if you're a change worker, healthcare provider, feel free to share this with the people under your care. And uh, I, I think you'll have great results with this. Thanks. Thanks for watching Balanced Perceptions. Be sure to click, like, and share. Bye.